called number one one. Why do we call number one one? Number one? Yeah, why do we call it one? I don't know. Because it's the first one. No, it is the numbers were made when they were invented. They were the number of angle. Yeah. How many angle in one? One. One? Yeah. This is number two. Yeah, two angle. Number yeah. three. Three. Three angle. Three. Five. Five angle. This is the way the numbers were invented. So they Wait, were made squares. Yes, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So the zero actually, which was invented later. So actually, it was different from all these shapes. It has no angle. And then this circle was brought from India as a shape, but it was introduced into mathematics as a number which refers to the empty value because one is one value. Yeah. But how do we represent? Z no value, yeah. so because at the time the word zero was not yet invented, yeah. so how to represent no value is by the circle, which is actually Don't was have angle. it does not have angle, yeah. and that's why the name that was given to it is this. Okay, yeah. so this is the name for zero, which is this. Yeah. Okay, so this is sefer, which yeah. means empty. Okay, so this word was taken by the Latins when they took Arabic numbers and then they changed it from Sefer to Sefero and then to Sefero and then to Zefero and then it was abbreviated into, can you see how the word zero came? So it is the abbreviation of the two first letters and then the last ones to get the word zero by the Latins. And then we say that the numbers are Arabic and then we say algebra is Arabic and then we say algorithm is Arabic, but we never actually say the person who invented the numbers or algebra. And then yeah. it is simple to know that the word algebra comes from this person, Ben Al-Jabir.